Hello everyone and welcome to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. I'm Garrett and tonight we're going to try our first attempt at capturing the entire Orion constellation using our new Skywatcher Star Adventure and our Canon T5i with only a kit lens. So if you like what you're seeing please be sure to subscribe and like the video as every little bit helps. First things first we got to properly polar align the Star Adventure so we can get the best shot possible. I went ahead and took care of that earlier so I wouldn't waste any time. I'm still learning about polar alignment, but I feel like I have a firm grasp on what's going on. Once we get properly polar aligned, we gotta be careful not to bump anything because that's just gonna knock everything off, and that's the last thing that we want to happen. My plan here is to take multiple sets of exposures, all at different intervals. So for example, I'm gonna start out maybe 10 shots at 15 seconds, then we'll bump up to 30 seconds, another 10 shots, then a minute, and so on and so forth. My goal here is to hopefully not blow out the core of the Orion Nebula because at the end of this I'm going to attempt to stack all these images together. But again, this is my first time at this, so we'll see how everything goes. I hope it works out well. I'm currently shooting my first set of pictures again at 15 seconds apiece, and I want to take 10 of them all together. So here goes nothing. Next up is another 10 pictures, but this time at 30 seconds. And finally, here are all the images stacked together. Unfortunately, as you can see, I had high clouds moving in about midway through the exposures. There's also a light pollution creeping in from the bottom right of the frame as Orion heads further west into the sky. Overall, I'm not too pleased with this attempt as I'm bad to get in a big hurry with things and not double check them. I should have kept an eye on the clouds approaching in from the west. And also, as soon as I started taking my camera down, I realized I'd captured nothing in raw mode, which is a big no-no in astrophotography. Hindsight is 2020 though. However, I am very pleased with the focus that I achieved in these shots. This is by far the tightest focus I've gotten yet. So the night was not a total loss, I guess. I've also changed the upload schedule of the channel. Instead of forcing myself to do a video every week, I'm just gonna do one whenever the weather allows me to do a video. Cause that way I'm not forced to do a video that I'm just not excited about doing and I don't do just some random video that has nothing to do with the channel. So from now on, uploads will be just here and there, as again, whenever the weather permits. So be sure to press the notification icon on the YouTube page, so that way you'll be notified whenever I do upload a video. There's still so much for me to learn in the field of astrophotography. For the time being, I'm gonna be focusing mainly on patience and planning. I've learned that patience is a huge piece of the puzzle that is astrophotography. I'm really excited to get another shot at Orion here in the near future, but this time I'm planning on heading for much darker skies so the light pollution will not play a factor. I've got a few places in mind, so I'm ready for more clear skies. So thank you guys again for watching, and welcome to all the new viewers as well. We're closing in on 100 subscribers, which is which is mind blowing. I never thought we would even made it this far. So thank you again, everybody, for watching, and I hope you enjoy.